Okay. So we're going to be fixing a fuel pressure regulator today. It leaks in the cold weather and unfortunately it's not very cold. It's like 50 degrees right now so it's not leaking but when it gets down below 30 it starts leaking and uh, you can see it drips right onto here. You can see where all the marks are where it's leaking. So the fuel pressure regulator connects to the fuel rail and uh, regulates the pressure of fuel that goes into the fuel injectors. And um, so it's connected to this vacuum line. So that's the first thing you're probably going to want to take off. Actually, before we take anything off, let's do what the manual always says to do. Disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. And we're going to use a 5 16 ratchet. Okay. And uh, just take it off. Okay, battery is disconnected. Just tuck it away. Oh, you don't want it to touch any metal. Okay, good. And now you are safe, or relatively safe, because now you're working with the fuel system. Take off the vacuum hose. You want to make sure your vacuum hose is, isn't leaking or anything either, because then you'll have high fuel pressure, and that's not always good. Um, and so the first thing we're going to have to do is, there's two main steps, actually. It's to take this off and take this off. This is going to come off, and then this just pops off. And then we're going to replace it with a nice new AC Delco part. So, okay, so I'm going to get started on that. Here is, let me give you an idea of what you're looking at. It's a hex or a star that actually looks like a star. And um, I'm going to connect my fuel pressure sensor or fuel pressure gauge right here. You can see it's right there, ready to go. And, and uh, I'm going to bleed the fuel out because you don't want any pressure when you're taking this off. Do not let your fuel system be pressurized. And um, so that's that. That's okay. I'm on the other side of the engine now. And I uh, just connected the fuel pressure sensor or fuel pressure gauge and I'm gonna bleed I know the system is empty but I'm just showing you guys I'm gonna bleed it so you press this button and you make sure there's no fuel pressure obviously you'll have this hose into a, a can or an old plastic container or something okay so now we're going to get to the fuel pressure regulator first step is to take off this you use the Torx a star Torx like that and I'm gonna use this tool and you're just gonna unscrew it. Okay. There we go. That probably hasn't been taken off since the car was brand new, so it might take a little bit of effort like that. And then when you get this off. Make sure you don't lose the pieces. Okay. And there you go. Now this is loose and this isn't going to move. Good. And again, make sure there's no fuel pressure because that would not be good. Let's get this off next. So, hoping this is the same size. Nope. That size is bigger. Okay, so we're going to need a bigger one for the one on the fuel pressure regulator. Hmm. There we go. Like that. Ooh, that's not good. 
that's a lot of fuel. Okay, so there's a lot of fuel in here. Maybe it'd be better to tilt the car the other way so the fuel doesn't come rushing out. Be very careful. A lot of fuel just poured out of here. I'm gonna have to try to figure out a way. So here's the O-ring. This is now apart from the uh, fuel rail here. And a lot of fuel actually did come out. Unfortunately, I did not have anything to catch it with. But if I were you guys, I'd put like a little cup or a bag or something. Just the fuel in here comes out. So, and this was pretty, a lot thicker than I thought it would be. Or a lot, the diameter is a lot wider. And there's a lot more fuel in here than I thought there would be. So, but, uh, so when you put the new one on, you want to oil this with car oil. So you get car oil, you dip your finger in it. And you just run it around, almost like what you do with a fuel filter. I mean, a uh, oil filter. Okay? And, oh, and that's pouring gasoline out as well. The other thing you want to do is make sure there's no contaminants. This doesn't obviously matter because we're replacing it. But just to be curious, you want to see that there's no contaminants in, in here. There's a screen. And uh, this looks really good. So, fuel system's really good. And then we're going to take this clip off right here and pull this fuel line out. Okay, so we're gonna take this clip off here. There we go. Get this other side off. This snaps off. Be careful not to break anything. Don't bend anything. Don't use extreme force. Okay. Oh, no. Almost. There we go. Okay. So then this comes off. And we're just gonna pull here, and the fuel pressure regulator should come right out. Okay, beautiful. So there's another O-ring on here. You're gonna want to oil that as well. And okay, this is actually good. It actually, I don't know. Let me see if I could show you guys. Let's see. In there, you, oh, there you go. You can see it. Beautiful. See it rusty right there? That's where my fuel was leaking. Huh. So, okay, there's the old one. We're about to replace the new one. So the steps for putting it together are the same. Right away, you want to make sure you put oil, you know, regular car oil, on the O-rings. Okay. Oil it up real good, and then you just connect everything the same way you take it off. It's really simple, and that's how you change the fuel pressure regulator. Nice and easy, and uh, once I start it up, I'll show you guys the fuel pressure. Remember, oil this, put it on, attach it, attach this part, plug the battery in, be careful there's no extra gasoline vapors, and uh, wait a few minutes, start the engine, Okay, so everything's in, everything looks good. Just do exactly the opposite, put it together. And uh, here's the old one, and there's the nice new one. So we are going to start the car here. And keep an eye on the fuel pressure. Always have a fire extinguisher ready. First thing actually we're going to do is turn the car on and off and check for leaks. Beautiful. Looks good. Now it's time to start the car. Here it goes. Okay, excellent. Fuel pressure is good. Beautiful. <clears throat> All done. Now, after you let it run, tighten it up. That's it. 